you click this video, I know that you have some serious goals, but you haven't achieved any of them because your own brain keeps sabotaging you. This basic law of neuroscience is so simple, but it'll explain exactly why it feels so impossible to do work, but also the easy system to fix it. I'm Jeevan, I spent six years at Cambridge Medical School learning to be a doctor, and so I've learned the neuroscience and psychology of behavior. And I've also had to put that theory into practice, trying to overcome my own brain to get the work done. This is how you rewire your brain to make hard things automatic. Okay, so this is Neuroscience 101. Let me give you a basic model of human behavior. Let's talk about the most basic building block of it. And so that's moving one muscle. For one muscle to be moved at a time, you have one particular neuron that is in your brain that is connected to a muscle fiber. And when that activates, then the muscle fiber moves. But then when you start getting into like typing or tying your shoes, like the everyday human behaviors, this is occurring just in a very complicated sequence because you can imagine this occurs for every single muscle fiber in your body and so what happens is these neurons these circuits are actually connected to each other up top so what happens is you have neuron one which is you know connected downstream to you know a muscle and then you have that connected to neuron two which activates another muscle then you have neuron three which activates another muscle and so what happens is these neurons, one, two, and three, four, five, six, up to like a million or a thousand, will activate each other in the right sequence to perform that particular action. So neuron one activates neuron two, which activates neuron three, which then causes this ordered sequence of movements, which is you performing the behavior. Okay, so let's zoom into this particular area because this is where all the rewiring happens. All right, so you've probably seen this diagram before. Two neurons are connected at a synapse. Basically, neuron one gets activated and it has all these neurotransmitters at the end that then gets released into the synapse and then binds to receptors on neuron two, which then cause that to go up the neuron and then that is activated. You probably learned this in school, but then that was the end of it. But Hebb's law is the basis of neuroplasticity which allows you to rewire this whole thing. So Hebb's law is that cells that fire together wire together. So what happens is when neuron one activates neuron two, there is a whole feedback loop that occurs that means that neuron two starts changing structurally. So neuron two, after being activated by neuron one, becomes more sensitive to neuron one and it gets more receptors and the receptors become more sensitive and all of these things. So effectively that means that neuron one can be activated in the same amount, but neuron two gets activated faster next time. So this is why the more that you repeat a behavioral circuit, the more efficient that circuit becomes. Because you know that whenever you started doing a new sport or a new instrument or new anything, Every time that you repeated that action, you got better at doing it the next time. But the opposite is also true. The more that you use this circuit, the faster it becomes. But also, the less you use this circuit, the slower it becomes. So there are a few ways to use Hebb's law to rewire your brain to do the hard things. So the first thing is to repeat desired behaviors consistently. The more you repeat the action, the stronger the circuit gets. And so when the circuit is stronger, the signal gets passed faster and eventually it gets so fast that the behavior becomes automatic. You've tied your shoelaces every single day for the past like 10 years plus, and that's why it feels so effortless. It's not because you became more disciplined. Choose what behavior you want to become automatic and do that every single day consistently. Now, the difficult bit is how do you make sure that you can be consistent every day? You need to start small so you can guarantee consistency. Think about the very common scenario where someone tries to diet over and over again and they can't lose weight because they keep yo-yoing back to their old habits. These people underestimate the strength of their neural connections and so they try and rush to the end, but they haven't built the new circuits strong enough to sustain it. The only way to rewire your brain is by consistent repetitive action. And so you need to make sure that it's small enough to guarantee that you can be consistent over time. 
because then you can build that initial behavioral circuit and then you can build on it later. But you also need to understand that rewiring old behavioral circuits is just important as strengthening new ones. So let's say your phone is your biggest distractor when you're trying to work. Decreasing your phone use outside of work time will also weaken that circuit. So when it gets to the time where you're working and you're tired and you wanna get your phone, it's actually a weaker enemy to fight against. And so then you can stop yourself from getting distracted. And the alternative is obvious. The more that you use your phone outside of work time, the easier and more automatic it is to grab your phone when you wanna procrastinate. So when you do all this, you can rewire your brain to stop procrastinating and actually get the hard work done automatically. And this whole video has been based in neuroscience. So if you want the psychology of procrastination, then click this video on screen where I show my formula for beating procrastination for good.